Tansy's sleeping. Is she really sleeping? Tansy, are you taking a nap? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. You're getting so big, Tansy. Hey there, welcome back to Honey Acres Homestead. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with us. Today is a beautiful summer like, not summer, late spring type day. It's so warm outside, it's kind of weird, but it's beautiful. And today I'm just sitting down and spending some more time looking over boar goat registration. All the boar goats that we bought, they're registered and there's a little bit of paperwork that goes along with that. I've kind of been procrastinating a little bit um, as I look over things and I'm kind of getting to the point here where we need to transfer all the mom goats into our name and that way we can register all their little babies. Which means we need to make a final decision on what we're gonna be naming the babies. When you're registering goats, it's good to come up with really unique original names. You can't really go and name all your goats Blackie and Spotty and Whitey. You have to come up with some original and unique names. Now, of course, there's gonna be with all the goats that have been registered over the years, you're gonna have goats that are named the same thing. And you do put your own little name in front to give it a little bit of a um, individualization. Anyway, I've been just looking at this boar goat magazine that comes in the mail. And, and it has some great stuff. It has information for boar goat producers about care and some advertisements for different products. Um, it also has a really handy goat gestation chart, which I think is pretty cool. So you can just look on the chart and see, oh, my goat was bred on this day and it is due on that day. Instead of, I usually go on my phone and type in 150 days past this date. So this has it all for you right there. That's pretty handy. So it also has a list of boar goats that have, it says it's called the stand, standouts in the boar goat industry. These are goats that have reached the level of ennoblement. They've been shown and they've received points and their, their progeny has received points and they've reached this classification of ennoblement and it has their names listed giving them some credit. So I like to read this because it just shows how creative people are with their goat names. There's some really fun ones. Let me just read to a few. Let's see here. Gotcha looking. Paid my dues. Boomstick. I'm your Huckleberry. Gangster's Paradise. My Fold My Cape of Secrets. Geronimo. African Goose. I've got lipstick too. Jingle Bell Rocks. Give me all your lovin'. Paint in the sky. It's really hard to come up with unique names. Actually, I thought I came up with a unique name for one of our goats and I just saw it on the list here. So it's kind of tricky. Especially some of these people have lots and lots of goats and so they're naming lots and lots of babies at a time. We only have nine right now. So, it's still tricky for us. Monopoly Money's one. Future Fan of the Man. Flamethrower. It's just fun. So anyway, we've been trying to think of names for these baby goats and we've kind of struggled. We come up, came up with names for most of them, but we've kind of struggled and run out of ideas. Now I'm sure everybody that has goats and is registering these goats with all these different names, I'm sure they all have their tricks. I know the, um, my friend who raises the dairy goats, he said he'll just look around and look at a magazine in line and get names. <laughs> so I actually came up with a little trick of my own. So I had an idea. I'm going to go shopping for goat names. Look at where I'm at. I think I might have a really good idea. To the average Lowe's shopper, this is just a bunch of pink colors. But to me, this is a untapped cornucopia of goat names, just waiting for me to find the perfect names for our baby goats. I have to tell you, after realizing how many color names there are, 
I have a huge appreciation for the person that thinks up all these names. There are hundreds and hundreds. That's pretty impressive. I had so much fun looking through all these colors, looking for the right names, and the kids had a blast too. The person at the paint counter was probably wondering what we were up to. <laughs> And this one's a little dusty. I guessed Crimson Glow isn't that popular of a color. I have here paint swatches, all with names on them. <laughs> and I basically handed them to Peter and I said, here you go. You have one more goat to name. Pick a name off the list. <laughs> so let me just show you how fun some of these names can be just on paint swatches. We have Jumpin', jo Jumpin Java. Firecracker, Cracked Pepper, Midnight Fog, hmm, what's on here? Night Watch, Blackberry Bramble, Dusty Trail. Oh, this is the one that actually he chose. <laughs> Shark Fin, Iron Frost. There's so many names. So this really makes it easy for those of us that need to cheat to come up with names. There's hundreds of names just waiting for you in your local paint store aisle. <laughs> so Peter, Peter looked at these and he chose one of these for one of our goat's names. So I will bring that paint swatch down to our goat barn and I will show you what he chose and which goat he chose it for. This day is seriously so weird. It is like springtime. Last night we had a, an alert. They were actually setting off sirens because we were having 70 mile, hour, 70 mile an hour winds, thunderstorm, pouring rain. It lasted for about 30 minutes. And then today is like the most beautiful spring day you could ever imagine. Super weird. Hey there chickens. They're enjoying the beautiful day. So today we've pushed all the goats outside into the pasture all together, and we've actually closed them, locked them out of the barn so that they don't just wanna come in here and, and lay down when they have the beautiful sunshine. Um, that helps them to get some exercise and some much needed sunlight and fresh air. I'm gonna go out there with them now and look at all these little babies and tell you what we've named them. Hey guys. Were you guys taking naps? So we've had to build this bridge because this is where all the water collects. So this is our goat bridge, kind of like Billy Goat's Gruff without the troll. So they have to go across this to get across the puddle. But then it's not so bad out here. <laughs> hey everyone. So over here we have Pistol Annie and her adorable little baby girl. We decided to name this little girl Queen Anne's Lace. Queen Anne's Lace is a really pretty white flower and it just reminded me of the flower with all of her white patches. And also her mom's name is Annie, so Queen Anne's Nip Queen Anne's Lace makes a lot of sense for her. She's such a sweetheart. Are you sleepy? Over here is my buddy. He likes to he likes to come and get snuggles. This is Ruby's boy, her big boy. Um, we named him Kickflip because after watching him, he does so many tricks and he reminds me of playing the Tony Hawk video games as a kid. So his name is Kickflip. <laughs> Over here we have Ruby's other two kids. This one right here is a little girl. I've named her Cinnamon Twist for her color, which is like cinnamon, and she also came out backwards, so I thought Cinnamon Twist was fitting for her. She's also a sweetheart. She's very friendly. Oh, baby. 
And then Ruby's other boy right here is the one we could not think of a good name for. Introducing paint swatches. It's actually kind of funny because he actually is kind of the same color as the paint swatch. <laughs> and we named him um, Muddy Mississippi. It kind of looks like he's got mud splashed on him. So this little guy is named Muddy Mississippi. How's that for an original name? Here we have Dark and Stormy with her two little girls. Originally, I was gonna name this little girl. Where'd she go? Oh, now they're gonna eat. <laughs> Originally, I was gonna name this little girl Firefly because she looked like a black knight with little fireflies flying around. But then we were just looking at her and she started to be kind of a short and stout goat. And I said, hmm, short and stout. We'll name her Lil Teapot. So her name is Lil Teapot. And then her sister is quite a beauty. We really like her. Peter decided that we will name her Silver Lining because after the crazy year we've had, it's just a great thing to be back with on a farm and have some goats and there's always a silver lining. And this is one of ours. And here we have Starry Night and her little baby. She's the one who had the goofy ear, which is now looking identical to the other one. And we named her Heart's Desire because her mommy just loves her so, so much. And it just seems like a really sweet name for her. So there's Heart's Desire. <laughs> Wherever Heart's Desire is, mommy is always close by. <laughs> it's really funny to see these first time moms. Starry Night is always right next to her baby. And Pistolani is a first time mommy and her and her baby are inseparable. It's so sweet. Whereas seasoned moms like Apple Pie and Dark and Stormy and Ruby, they kind of just let their kids run around and do what they want. Apple Pie has these two boys. They're quite dashing. They have her pretty face and more elegant long neck. Peter named this one sitting down. His name is D'Artagnan. Named after the character from the Three Musketeers. And this guy next to him, he's kind of a funny guy. He'll just sit there and yell at you until you give him attention. We named him Apple Jacks. Because his mom name is Apple Pie. And Apple Jacks is kind of a cute name. So those are our goat names. Soon, we'll be having to name some more babies because that big girl over there is pregnant <laughs> and due in March. They're all moving so slow. <laughs> it's like the sun is just putting them to sleep. I think I'm interrupting their nap time. It's so peaceful to be down here with them. Well, kind of peaceful. That's that little Apple Jacks. He's so loud. <laughs> and he likes attention. Oh, he got through the gate somehow. I'm gonna put him back with mommy. Did you guys sneak in? We well, better go back with mommy. How did you get back in here? Come here. Oh, I didn't close it all the way.
So we used one of these paint swatches for Muddy Mississippi, Ruby's Dappled Baby Boy. But we have lots more good names left for the next round of babies. And there's some really cute names in here, especially for little girls. I like Blackberry Bramble and Cracked Pepper. There's some cute ones. So we'll definitely be, definitely be revisiting this trick in the future when we have more babies to name. Now, it doesn't really matter too much until you start getting to where you're showing goats um, what your goats are named. But we intend to show goats. We intend to get the kids involved, getting in the show ring. There is so much to learn. The way that you cut the goat's hair, fur, and, and you, sh you shave it just right in a certain way to make it look big here and small there. People even put hairspray in their goats to make it puff up in certain spots. They have like white spray color to put over. I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty intense. Um, Peter just told me that some people get their goats on the treadmill to build up, build up muscle. So I don't know what extent we're gonna go to, but we do want to develop a really great boar goat herd. We want to develop Honey Acres Homestead as um, kind of just known that we have great goats. So we're just getting started here and we have so much to learn. We really want the kids to be involved in this too. They just absolutely love being around the goats. And if they can get in that show ring and walk those little goats around and maybe get some ribbons, it'll just be a great thing for them as they're growing up. Thank you for checking out this video from Honey Acres Homestead. If you like what you saw here, please give us a thumbs up or drop us a comment down below. Oh, such a weird noise. <laughs> oh, they're all so sleepy. I guess I better let them rest.